Xbox, this is a spring sale for 2022. Be sure to like the video. Subscribing is great as well. We're going to be going over recommendations, thoughts, and just kind of scrolling through the list. This is all in a US currency. Keep that in mind. If you are buying anything on the store, the sale, consider using the affiliate link in the video description that will also be as a pinned comment on the YouTube video as well. It'll take you to Microsoft.com slash Xbox.com and I get a little bit of a kickback and or some support as well. So that's just kind of helping me out if you'd like to do so. So first off, we've got a little bit of a deal on Forza Horizon 5. Like a lot of this stuff, if you have Game Pass, that's kind of the way to go. If you don't do the Game Pass thing, you know, buying the games is kind of neat. This is a good sale on a really, really great game. One of the best of the last year. So we've got The Elder Scrolls on the line. Blackwood is kind of recent, but keep in mind that they do have a brand new sort of uh, aisle release. Uh, th this is actually like a pretty good bundle, and I'd say like a pretty good deal. You know, you get the Ultimate Edition of Mortal Kombat 11 and the Legendary Edition of Just Injustice 2. So that's like, that's a lot of content, you know, that's like the full packages for both. And I think for 25, like again, US currency. Uh, could literally switched accounts and used the secondary and everything and jumped to the US region so I could show this off, by the way. But yeah, so that one, really, really great deal. Uh, the Sims, I mean, if you don't have it, it's also through Game Pass Ultimate. Uh, Diablo, that's a pretty good sale for the Primeval Collection. Just keep in mind that once the deal with Activision Blizzard is finished, this will be a Game Pass title. But you can jump in now, you get, you know, Diablo 2, you get Diablo 3, so it's a pretty good package. This great, this game is fantastic. For 15 bucks, highly recommend. It's basically Breath of the Wild meets the typical Ubisoft-style game. Uh, pretty good. Uh, NBA 2K22, yeah, not a bad deal, but that's the, the Xbox One version, keep that in mind. Uh, there is the cross-gen versions also on sale quite a bit if you like the, the baseball. Uh, that's a pretty good deal on the Witch Queen. That's brand new De Destiny 2 DLC. Didn't come out too long ago, so that's a good way to jump in. That's Halo Infinite. Uh, WWE 2K22 already on sale, and you can get the, the cross-gen bundle. N no deal there, though, sadly. Just the Xbox One version, so... You know, think about that. Uh, pretty good deal for Vanguard. Uh, again, you probably make sure you're getting like the, uh, the cross-gen kind of version of the game, which is also on sale. So not too bad, and again, that one will be on Game Pass as well once the deal is done, or maybe later, depending on some sponsorship and or PlayStation type uh, marketing exclusivity that's on that one. We don't know for sure, but older CODs will be. Uh, Oli Oli World is actually a really, really, really good uh, skateboarding uh, platforming game. If you play the other Oli Olis, this one is a really good upgrade on those ones. Uh, you got your FIFA. You know, if you like uh, FIFA Ultimate Edition, so you get Series X or Xbox One. Again, that one's going to be, well, that one will probably be on EA Play and then Game Pass Ultimate uh, down the road. And then we've got Grand Theft Auto Online. So this is uh, even, I guess this is an even deeper cut sale price wise on this, isn't it? Yeah, that, that well, no, 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 no. This is the regular pricing, isn't it, that it's bid on? And then later on, it'll go to full price. And this is the next gen version of GTA. I feel like it's always that price. I'm just trying to think, like, Canadian-wise, I think it was, like, 25 bucks and, like, 15 bucks. so. Yeah, and then we got Rainbow Six Siege. I think this, yeah, it's a Game Pass, so I... If, if you don't own it, I guess 10 bucks, not too bad. Flight Sim is phenomenal. All the versions are on sale, so you get, like, the base version with Game Pass, but, like, if you want all the crazy planes and airports, like, you're a hardcore Microsoft Flight Sim fan, you know, these are some pretty good deals for this game. Uh highly suggest it's like a tactical realistic call of duty game insurgency sandstorm is amazing i've done tons of streams of it love it great game good price uh this one uh, if you like to do park building with jurassic uh jurassic world style stuff it's it's kind of a neat game the witcher 3 i would grab the i think there is a uh it doesn't have a this is included in make sure you buy the game of the year edition I think that's just the, the regular version, but the Game of the Year edition comes with the DLC. Grid Legends is fantastic. It's also on EA Play. It'll be on Game Pass someday, Game Pass Ultimate. And I think you can do a trial if you want to give a whirl at it, but it's really, really good. 
And then Ori, fantastic game, uh, really intense, hardcore platformer, keep that in mind, and there is another one as well. And you got your NHL 22, so that's a pretty good uh, sale cut as well, like that's that's pretty cheap. But that one will probably be on Game Pass in the next few months or so. King of Fighters, that's uh, that was actually really good, I quite like that one, that, that's a good deal on that one already. Uh, it's a pretty good fighting game. This was way better than it had any right being. It's literally like Hot Wheels come alive. Like if you dreamed of doing like Hot Wheels as a kid, like you played with the toys, this is literally that, but in a game. So good. Uh, I've, I've heard nothing but bad things about Godfall. No. Uh, must play if you haven't played the Tomb Raider games. You get Tomb Raider, Rise of the Tomb Raider, Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Steal of a deal. Perfect experience. This one's kind of interesting because I think there's like a next-gen version of the game, but I can't decide it or I can't figure out if this one is uh like it's supposed to have a next gen i think it no maybe it's six that has that 10 bucks not too bad watchdogs legion 15 bucks man that's a pretty good deal it's not like the best of the watchdog series but for 15 bucks you get a good at campaign length uh red dead 2 you know pretty good deal if you don't have it but i mean i, I do think they're gonna do a next gen version of it at some point so it's kind of like eh. Uh, Mortal Kombat 11, but if you're buying, like, it's it's like, what, 18 bucks, and then you go up here, and you look at this bundle, and it's like 25, just get this bundle, and you get both of those games, seriously, it's just, it's a much, but much better option, uh, this is a freaking crazy deal, <laughs> if, you, if you don't own this package, this, this is, this is like a really, really good deal, uh, this is a good golfing game, but I think a new one's coming, uh, this one I would say is a pretty good deal, but they are doing a next gen version, and I don't know how this the pricing is going to work on that. So I'd be a little hesitant to buy in at this point. Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy must play if you have this through Game Pass. Uh, but you know if you want to buy the game to own it, half off. It's a phenomenal title. My game of the year last year, pretty great. Saints Row the Third remastered, ten bucks. It's a steal. This game, absolute steal. It's uh, optimized for next gen, so you get sixty FPS. 15 bucks, hundreds of hours of gameplay, it's crazy. I like Back 4 Blood, it's kind of like Left 4 Dead 3 in all but the name, at least I always say that. Uh, so Ultimate Edition, not a bad price, but it's I think it's still on Game Pass 2 right now, the base version. Uh, Overcooked is pretty good if you want a little co-op sort of chef game, price-wise, uh, so-so. Um, Borderlands 3, really, really good price point. It doesn't look super duper deluxe is also on sale. You might want that for some cosmetic stuff. It doesn't look like any of the DLC is on, but for 15 bucks, Borderlands 3 is really good. Uh, this is on Game Pass, uh, Doom Eternal, but Doom Eternal is phenomenal if you are into buying games. I don't think you really need the deluxe version. Like, eh, you get the year one pass. I, I don't know, it depends on how much you want to play it. Uh, Shirelle Humans, a great remake of a phenomenal title. I would highly suggest this one. 20 bucks is really good for it. Uh, Control Ultimate Edition, uh, it was my game of the year a couple years back. 12 bucks. And this is like the next gen version of the Ultimate Edition, so you get all the DLC, you get some improved graphics, ray tracing stuff. Uh, it, it's, it's a must play. Then we've got uh, Alan Wake Remastered. I feel that they could give a better deal on this one because I want to buy it when it's on sale and I, I think this this isn't enough of a cut for me personally but it's it's a phenomenal game it's one of the best games ever made and the remaster I heard was like some mixed things about it but it is a phenomenal game uh, this one the base version is on game pass so keep that in mind but it's a fun little cooperative aliens shooter that's that's kind of enjoyable the arcane collection so all the stuff will be on game pass but if you do want to buy the Arcane Collection, you get like, you know, Dishonored, Dishonored 2, Death of the Outsider. So it's like, it's, it's a pretty good package, and you know, you, you get all this other, and Praise in there too. So that's a good deal. That, that is a good deal, but they're all on Game Pass. Uh, Ark is on Game Pass, but if you want to buy it, 10 bucks for the base version, not too bad. Among Us, $3.99. The game is so cheap, but, but it's also on Game Pass. So it's kind of like, you know, go for it if you want, but it's it's... It really is cheap, right? Uh, the Assassin's Creed Season Pass. I mean, if you are buying Odyssey, uh, you know, I would kind of look at if they're like the Ultimate Edition included and the Gold Edition's not on sale. 
So yeah, you might find buying the base version and the season pass is good for you. It's Ezio Collection, an incredible collection of games. Uh, really, really good. 12 bucks, they're FPS boosted, I believe. Uh, yeah, they should be FPS boosted. They're, uh, it's really, really, really great titles. Yeah, seriously, well worth it. And then this bundle, eh, it's the Modern Creeds. It's a good sale price, but it's kind of like you might want to pick and choose. I really loved Origins. And then we've got uh, Bioshock, the collection, must play. I would 100% suggest buying this if you've never played the Bioshocks. Uh, basically 10 out of 10s, must play. Biomune's pretty good. Uh, it's a pretty good deal. It's a fun RPG. I'd, I'd say go for it. Uh, this is uh, Battletoads. It's a Game Pass title. It's first party. Five bucks, pretty good if you're buying it. Uh, Black Desert, I believe one of the versions of Black Desert is on Game Pass at the moment. But, you know, Black Desert MMORPG, you do actually get a ton of gameplay time, and I do think value wise, that's not too bad. Uh, just, yeah. And then we talked about Borderlands 3 already. Bleeding Edge, uh, I think the game's kind of dead at this point, so it's a little hard to suggest it, but it's on Game Pass. It's kind of a fun little hero brawler, but yeah. Uh, the Legendary Collection, you get Borderlands 2, Game of, Borderlands Game of the Year Edition, Borderlands the pre-sequel. I would say if you're, you haven't played these Borderlands games, uh, they're must-plays. Particularly, like, Game of the Year Edition is included within Legendary, so I would go for the Legendary Collection. You get a ton of gameplay out of that. Bulletstorm's actually really fun. So if you've played uh, Gears of War, it's kind of like a really drunken version of that. And I don't know if you can buy it separately, but yeah. Okay, so I would buy this. So this is Duke Nukem in the game. So that's five bucks, it's not on sale. And then you buy the main game for like six bucks, 11 bucks. And Duke Nukem is just thrown into this game where he doesn't belong, and it is hilarious. Absolutely hilarious. <laughs> so that that would be my recommendation there for that. It's, it's just a silly shooter. It's, it's enjoyable, though. I like it. Uh, CODs, again, all the, all the stuff should be on Game Pass in the near future. But if I am saying to buy things, Modern Warfare Remastered is a must-play. Modern Warfare 2019 is phenomenal. I enjoy Vanguard, but maybe just get the cross-gen bundle. And then zombies, depending on how into it you are for zombies. See, like, I don't really suggest Black Ops 3, but if you are into the zombies portion of Call of Duty, the Zombies Chronicles kind of addition and stuff is like a really good buy because you get all the classic maps. So this package is pretty good. There's also usually a package that includes like uh, like a combination of just the Chronicles plus the game. Yeah, the Zombies Deluxe Edition. So that would kind of be my suggestion if you like the zombie. Well, like, I guess does this include the Season Pass? Usually there's a version that doesn't include the Season Pass or something. I've bought it before. Let's see what else we got here. Uh, Cities is a successor to SimCity. It's on Game Pass, though, the, ba the base version of this. At least I think it's still on Game Pass. And uh, it's, it's a great, it, it's just a city builder. That's the regular version of Control. Go with Ultimate Edition. It's just a better deal. Crackdown, play it through Game Pass. Like, it's a fine story, but it's kind of like, eh. This will be on Game Pass 2 after the Activision deal. 30 bucks. Uh, so, so on if it's worth it. You get a good package here, like the Crash bundle. Like, the, the Kart Racer is really good, but again, all, this, all, all the Crash stuff will be on Game Pass. The Insane Trilogy, three great games upgraded. 20 bucks is a steal for it, to be honest. Even 16 bucks for this was really good. And then if you buy the whole package together for like 54 bucks, it's it's a pretty good deal if you're into buying and owning, but it'll be on Game Pass. Cyberpunk, 30 bucks. It's upgraded for next gen, optimized. 100% worth it. Uh, the Darksiders games, uh, War Mastered and 2, pretty good. Not, not bad pricing. Stay away from Dead Alliance. The game sucks. Just straight up. Uh, Dead by Daylight Ultimate Edition. The base version's on Game Pass, but this version gives you all 34 original killers and survivors. So, pretty. That's a pretty good deal. That, there's a lot of 
there's like a, there's a lot of characters you get in that it's like uh i guess it doesn't really dive into all of them but you, you get just like again 34 original killers and survivors it's insane uh the definitive a collection for dead island six bucks go for it that's fps boosted is really good dead or alive 6 15 bucks is pretty good for this one it's a good fighting game it's enjoyable not too bad if you want like special extra stuff go for the deluxe edition and then there's like seasonal pass stuff if you want like more outfits and characters you get like 50 something 72 costumes and tracks and it depends on how big of a fan you are of dead or alive so desperados 3 is really really good oh, that's the wrong button there but I think the base version, I don't know if it's still on Game Pass. Maybe just go for the base version. It's a pretty good strategy western. And then you got all your other Destiny stuff. Just get like a witch version of it. Like the base game is free to play, but just get the witch upgrade. You don't need like ridiculous fancy stuff unless you want it. And uh, Dios X, they all six. Five bucks, great. It's, it's, that's definitely worth it. And uh, Devil May Cry is not too bad pricing for that stuff. We already talked about Diablos. And uh, the Dishonoreds, you know, you can buy them separately, but they're all Game Pass titles or part of that package collection. Five bucks, this, this is actually a really good little platforming game. I, I believe it's a co-op focus, this one from what I recall. Uh, but it's it's actually, yeah, co-op adventure. It's, it's actually pretty well done for five bucks, I'd say so. Uh, this is great for the kids. You go around Disneyland just doing mini games, but it's a Game Pass title, so it's kind of like. Eh. And then we got our Dooms. You know, pretty good pricing on the Dooms. Five bucks for Doom Three, great. But they're all they're all Game Pass, right? So it's like, eh, but like, two bucks for the original Doom, great. Five bucks for Doom Three, one of the best games probably ever made. Really great. So it's they're good deals on these Doom titles. Or you can get like the whole Doom package for like 15 bucks, but again, they're all Game Pass, so it's kind of like, eh, you know, be smart about stuff. Three bucks for Duke Nukem 3D, eh, if you want some nostalgia, it's always on sale for this much though. Uh, this is a, kind of a steal, 15 bucks, you know, they just did a, a next gen sort of upgrade for Dying Light uh, on, you know, the Series X and stuff, so it's kind of like... You know, I, I think that's a pretty... You get, all, like, a ton of DLC for 15 bucks. It's, it's kind of worth it. Uh, da, 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 let's see. There is... Uh, your Fables, again, on Game Pass. But I'd say 10 bucks for each of these is well worth it. They're quite upgraded for the consoles, so that's pretty good. Well, it's 76. Uh, it improved a lot, but again, Game Pass title, so it's kind of like, eh, why buy it? Use a Game Pass, but 13 bucks is worth it. You get all this like free content. Uh, we talked about Forza, so different versions depending on what you like. Now, I wouldn't really suggest this one, but I will mention that it is being delisted really, really soon. Like, literally when the sale's done, I believe this game is gone forever. Like, you'll never, ever be able to buy this game again. and Because I, 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 I think it was digital only. I don't really recall. But if you do want to play this game ever, now would be the time. I, I Like, honestly, I don't even think it's worth, like, a few bucks. But, you know. Oh, the Anthology Bundle. That's a pretty good package. You know, you get three, four, five, six. That's, that's a pretty good deal. Are there any of the other Far Cries? Yeah, the Far Cry 4 and Primal, 20 bucks, not too bad. So maybe look, you know, Far Cry is a great series. Look and see what kind of sales offers they have. But you get a lot of Far Cry action for that price. And then we've got, uh, we talked about the Flight Sims, Gears 5. You know, 16 bucks is pretty good, but it's also on Game Pass. Your other Gears games, 3 bucks a pop for the different Gears titles. That's 8 bucks. Like... You know, they're steals if you've never played them, but they're all also all on Game Pass, so it's kind of like, eh, you know, so-so. Gears Tactics is really good, too, if you like XCOM-style things. And you get the Gears Triple Bundle, but all Game Pass. This game is way better than it has any right being, and for 10 bucks, it's really, really good, and I do suggest it. Yeah. Uh, da, 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 golf with your friends, game pass, but it's mini golfing, five bucks, it's pretty good. I think it's FPS boosted for like 120 FPS too, so that's kind of cool. This game, for the kids, it's kind of like, I, one, one sec here, let me double check if this is the game I'm thinking of. No, this is, never mind, never mind, I thought it was. Uh, we got your, the premium edition, they've improved it a bit, but, eh. 
And you got your Halos, so two bucks to add this to the Chief Collection, but again, all this stuff's on Game Pass, right? So it's kind of like, do you just, just use Game Pass to get the Halos, but if you need to buy them, I mean, 16 bucks for the Master Chief Collection, like, that's the best 16 bucks you'll ever spend in your entire life. Uh, Hell Let Loose, a lot of people love this shooter. I don't really see it go on sale too much, so I think 30% off is actually pretty good on it, and a lot of people love that title. Uh, and then we've got the Hitman Trilogy, which is on Game Pass, but yeah, I, I would say that is a, a really good price, 60 bucks. It, it sounds like a lot, but you get just like a ridiculous, ridiculous, ridiculous amount of gameplay and replay value out of that. Uh, all three of the Hitman games, all upgraded and included in Hitman 3, it's, it's pretty great. Hellblade is a must play, but it's on Game Pass, so... You know, but seven bucks, pretty good for that one. Uh, we've got Journey to the Savage Planet is a pretty fun little adventure. I'd say twelve is not too bad for it. Injustice, a dollar twenty-four. Great classic game, good fighter game, pretty good price. Judgment, I would say this is one. This is a really, really great game. Absolutely phenomenal. Twenty bucks is certainly worth the value on that one. You got your different Jurassic World versions if you want to go for that. Uh, just cause uh, it's not too bad of a pricing. I'm still sour that my review code all of a sudden doesn't work these days, so I can't download and play that anymore. But oh well, fourteen bucks, not bad for just cause four. It's not the best, but like you know, it's on Game Pass too. But it's it's you know that price isn't too bad. No, just dance. That's pretty good if you have kids or something. Let's see if they just dance. Yeah, the regular version isn't. Is it on sale? Let's see. Does it include the regular edition? Yeah, that's not on sale. So, that, so that's actually not a bad price, and you get some extra stuff with it. So maybe that might be worth it for your, the kids to get some dancing on and get some exercise. Killer Instinct, 10 bucks, but it's on Game Pass. Good fighting game from Xbox, first party. Kingdom Come, a very technical, well-done, sort of realistic RPG of the knighthood. High, high recommend. And uh, L.A. Noir, not a bad price for a detective kind of game, especially, is this the upgraded? I'm assuming this is the upgraded version, because, it, yeah, it's, it's not the 360 version, so that's upgraded. Ooh, we've got our LEGO games, $1.24, very easy to buy. I, I'd say all of these LEGO games are worth the prices that are present here. They're all different, they're all really good. Uh, LEGO Harry Potter's really, really jam-packed with content. I would say that one has the most content out of all of these, but I mean for $1.24, that's 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 crazy. And then again, yeah, similar value here across these LEGO titles. This one's terrible, so I would not suggest LEGO Movie 2, but you know, the LEGO Marvel collection is, is just ridiculous, the value in that one. So I would highly, highly, highly recommend that one. LEGO Harry Potter. And then like the Lego Batmans are pretty good. Lego and yet like again, all the Lego games, good value, but it's kinda like, eh, it depends on what you like. Lego Worlds, so so look at that one and the screenshots and some video on that one before buying it, but it's not too bad. $5.99. I actually might grab that one since I owned it as a disc. Uh let's see. Hmm. Life is Strange Two Colors just dropped on Game Pass. But, you know, if you've been wanting to get the extra versions that maybe include, like, the extra DLC stuff, it might be a good time to jump in on that. Lost Judgment is a sequel to Judgment. It's not as good as Judgment, but it's actually still a really good game. And it is a direct sequel to Judgment, so you would want to play that if you've played Judgment. Uh, the Mafia Trilogy, really, really good games. But I think this one does include... Yeah, Mafia Definitive. I would say the trilogy is the way to go. And then Marvel's Adventures. 16 bucks isn't too bad for it, but it's on Game Pass, so maybe go that way. And there's a deluxe version of Guardians if you want some extra stuff, and some extra stuff for Guard or Marvel's Adventures as well. Now, this isn't really that great, but if you want to support indie football development on console, that might be the thing to go for. Uh, Metro Exodus, but we showed off the Metro Pack, so that's probably better. Shadow of Mordor is a really, really good game. I think the Definitive Edition has some extra DLC, so that might be the way to go there. Let's see what else we got here. Mortal Kombat XL, a lot of content. A lot of content in that one. It's a pretty good price. Uh, my time at Porsche is like Harvest Moon, but 3D, and I believe a sequel is coming down the road. It's 7.49, it's really, really good. And I believe this, yeah, this is a Game Pass title too, uh, for now. 
Oh, the Namco Museum archives. Interesting. Uh, we talked about NBA already. Neon Abyss is pretty good. Ten bucks. Uh, so so so. It is on Game Pass though. We talked about NHL. Uh, the Nickelodeon Kart Racers, pretty good. That one, the second one, I, I think I re if I recall correctly, the second one's better. It improves on things. So for the kids, ten bucks, pretty good. And this game is way better than it has any right being. It is like a Smash Bros. Nickelodeon game, and it's actually really, really good. <laughs> like really, really good. Uh, the Ninja Gaiden Collection, pretty. This is some decent updates to the games. If you want to play Ninja Gaiden in the modern era, that might be the way to kind of go. Oh, the Ori Collection. So that's kind of, I guess, would be a better option because then you get both or all the Ori stuff. Yeah. Uh, the Overcooks. Keep in mind, we showed off the upgraded Overcooked uh, version earlier, but you know, if you want Overcooked Two or whatnot, so that's kind of there. Uh, da -da. Overwatch Legendary, that should be on Game Pass at some point, but for 20 bucks, pretty good. It's upgraded for next gen. Pac Man Championship 2, hmm. Interesting. That's good for the kids, but also on Game Pass. Planet Coaster is pretty cool. I don't think it's on Game Pass anymore, but yeah, you build like a theme park basically uh, with space themes. It's, it's actually really, really good. So you might even want the deluxe versions if you're really into it. I think I want like Ghostbusters and stuff. Lots, lots of packs for that game. Very, very good game. Uh, let's see. Psychonauts 2 is a must-play, one of the best games last year, but it's on Game Pass. Or if you like to buy it, pretty good sale price. Uh, Rage 2 is pretty good, but that price, I, I feel like you could get a better deal. It's also on Game Pass. I don't know if the base version's on sale. Let's see. Yeah, that one's again. You can like honestly just just go with the Game Pass, or if there's a cheaper price, Quake Game Pass. But you know, five bucks, it's great. It's a great remaster of a classic. Quantum Break, ten bucks is a steal for it, but it's also on Game Pass. Uh, Recore, five bucks. I'd say this one's worth it for five, but it's on Game Pass too. Uh, Red Faction, six bucks. Uh, it's a pretty cool game. You, know, you like destroy stuff a lot. This was a good little remastering for it. I'd say six bucks is pretty good. Red Dead, again, I believe they're gonna be doing a next gen version and they'll charge again. So maybe wait for that. Get your Resident Evils. I would also wait on two, three, and seven because they're supposed to do next gen version. So I don't know if they're gonna recharge for that or if this is gonna be it. But you know if you want to play Resident Evil 1, 5 bucks is great. 0, 5 bucks is good. Four buck, or four, Resident Evil 4 for 8 bucks is really good. Uh, 6 for 8, 5 for 8, not bad pricing at all. Pretty fun. These ones you could do co-op, which is pretty cool too. Uh, Rise of Nations? That's a PC game, what? What is that doing on here? Sorry, one one sec here. This this is strange. Cross platform multiplayer. I think that's a glitch. That that shouldn't be there. <laughs> I will look into that further. Uh Tomb Raider again get the Tomb Raider package. Seriously, the Tomb Raider package is a must play. Rust, if you like that game, this is a pretty good price, but I'm, I wouldn't necessarily recommend it. Rise Son of Rome, $750 for all the content stuff, great price, but it's on Game Pass. Saints Row 1, under $2, well worth it. Saints Row 2, 2 bucks, well worth it. Uh, Scarlet Nexus is really, really good, but again, Game Pass title, but 30 bucks, not a bad price for that. Scream Ride, eh. Scribblenauts Mega Pack, six dollars for two phenomenal Scribblenauts games. I would actually quite recommend that. I, I think that's a really really good deal, uh, price wise. I I would definitely say yeah, go for that. It's great for kids and uh, very well done. Sea of Thieves, twenty bucks, not bad, but it's on Game Pass. Uh, this is like Dead by Daylight for the kids, but it's on Game Pass. Eight bucks though, not too bad. Uh, Sakuro, love, a lot of people love this one. It's Dark Souls esque, thirty bucks. It's you know it's about what it usually goes on sale for. Let's see what else we got here. Shadow of the Tomb Raider again, get, get the Tomb Raider package. All the Sims 4 stuff, if you're into that. Lots of Sims 4 stuff. Sleeping Dogs, five bucks. 
well worth it. Uh, let's see, so Caliber Deluxe Edition. I would take a look at the Season Passes. Uh, yeah, that, that's pretty good for Soul Cal. I would say that's pretty good for Soul Cal. And we've got... Uh, oh, Battle for Bikini Bottom, 15 bucks. Definitely worth it. Uh, State of Decay 2, good pricing for it, but you know, it's on Game Pass. The Crash Package, those will be on Game Pass down the road. And I think Spyro will be available by itself for sale too. Two fully remastered. Okay, Stellaris. A lot of people like Stellaris. If you like strategy games, that's a good price for that one. And Sunset Overdrive is really, really good. What is that one? Oh, so Sunset Overdrive, uh, Game Pass, you know, is the way to play it. But I mean, if you want like all the DLC and stuff, 750 is pretty good. Super Monkey Ball, eh, so so. Tales of Arise is really, really good. So that's a good price. I don't think they ever put that one on Game Pass, did they? But that's really, really good. Tell me why. Life is Strange like. 10 bucks. It's a Game Pass title. I would go with Game Pass on that one. Uh, Terraria of Minecraft, but 2D. 8 bucks. Not too bad, but it's on Game Pass. Uh, the Bard's Tale, I would suggest through Game Pass. I wouldn't necessarily suggest buying them, but I, I would actually take a look through Game Pass. Might be the way to go. Uh, some of the Dark Pictures anthology sort of uh, pick and choose things within a horror type series, some co-op, you might like that. A lot of Elder Scrolls options, again just keep in mind base games with Game Pass, uh, and they've got a new Isle collection or whatever that's out, so take a look at that one. And then we've got the Elder Scrolls Anniversary, so this is actually like a pretty good uh, sale price for the Creation Club extra content. And obviously if you don't own Skyrim, but Skyrim is, is Game Pass as well. Uh, Evil Within. Pretty good deal, but it's a Game Pass title. Jackbox Party Packs, those are good prices for those. Uh, the Outer Worlds is a must play, but it's it's on Game Pass. It's basically Fallout in Space. If you want to get the DLC though, some good price points on the DLC. And then the Walking Dead stuff. So you got that on Game Pass, $7.49. It's the, the pretty good pricing for these Telltale Classics, I would say. The Witcher 2, three bucks, definitely worth it. Highly recommend. Ah, there's the Game of the Year edition. This is the version of Witcher 3 to buy Game of the Year, literally, for like so many. I would highly recommend that. <laughs> Thief. Yeah, no. Time Splitters 2, all time classic, three bucks. Pretty well worth it. Uh, Tomb Raider, like I mentioned, buy the package. Uh, Tony Hawk's. I think this is, yeah, this is the cross gen bundle. So this would be the way to buy a phenomenally upgraded Tony Hawk game. But keep in mind, it should be on Game Pass because it's going to be first party down the road. So yeah. Let's see what else we got. Trials Rising is really good for six bucks. The Trine package. Uh, I, I don't think that includes four though. Oh, it does include four. It looks like okay. I would I would go for the try and the try and games are really really nice. Uh, Tropico four for like two bucks. Eh, so so, good price on UFC four, but it's with you know Ultimate Edition, so it's got or with Game Pass Ultimate, so it's kind of like. Eh. Let's see what else we got. The Wasteland games are really really good, but they're Game Pass, so keep that in mind. You know, Wasteland remastered, uh, Watch Dogs two and Watch Dogs one. 15 bucks, pretty good price. I would say go for that. Watch Lux 2's FPS boosted. We Happy Few, great game, but it's on Game Pass. Six bucks is not bad. If you want all the DLC stuff, maybe take a look at that. Uh, we got our Wolfensteins. Again, all included on Game Pass, but if you want to buy any seasonal pass stuff, maybe take a look. But yeah, the the Wolfenstein games, all worth them. All worth it. Watch, Do or Watch Dogs. Worms WMD, which I think is the peak Worms game. Six bucks, really great, but it's also on Game Pass. Wreckfest is really, really good. Uh, I think the base game is also on Game Pass, though, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it's on Game Pass. That's also on sale for 15 bucks. Pretty good. Oh, there's the next gen WWE. I think we did we talk about that one where we did not see it was on Game Pass, but yeah, not a not a bad sale, but like you know, it just came out. Uh, Yakuza Kiwami 2, which I personally believe is the best of the Yakuza games outside of Judgment. Five bucks, must buy. I actually might pick that one up too because I think it's the one I didn't get a review copy for. Uh, like a Dragon's pretty good. It's on Game Pass, so-so uh, for me, but you know it's pretty good. Ukulele, I love the ukulele. Uh, ukulele and the Possible Lair is also pretty good, so maybe take a look at these two. And uh, if you like classic Zombies Ate My Neighbors, you know it's cool. I, f I feel like it could be cheaper, 
And Zootacoon, a uh, pretty great game. Don't you want to take care of the animals? I'd say you do. And it's on Game Pass, though. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this look through the sales list. I think we covered a lot of stuff. There's some good pricing. Uh, there's, there's some really, really good ones. There's some kind of like, yeah, kind of wanted more from it. But, you know, at the same time, not too bad. Like, why aren't the Spyro games on sale? That's that's really weird. Like, one, one, one sec here. Let's look at the... Uh, Spyro. I'm surprised the uh, the Spyro games aren't on sale. Yeah, that's really weird. They'll be on Game Pass anyways at some point. But yeah, that's the spring sale. I hope that helped you uh, check things out. Again, using the affiliate link is fantastic. Supports the work I do, but you know, liking and uh, subscribing is great as well. So see you for the next big sale.